What if, by the way, what if every morning was like, <laughs> oh, it the is. The pep for talk. You. No, the pe yeah, How I was inspiring. like. inspiring. I know, I know. <laughs> so you moved, you moved to a farm since the last time I saw you. Yes. Which I live on a ranch, so I love that lifestyle. Have you ever lived on a farm? Or Man, I, that's my dream. It really? Is it? My dream. It was mine too, well, and I bought it. Well, something tells me. <laughs> Something tells me when you have a dream, you make it happen. Oh no! So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I want chickens. I want a, I want a tractor. I want a cob the, pipe. I want a shotgun. It's, I can yeah! Get, I can get you all those things. I can too. Um, You're your people. And probably so can Amazon. But yeah. <laughs> it is, it's amazing, as you know. No. Yeah. Uh, just the interconnectivity of life, as you know. Mm. Oh. Wait a minute. That's a horse in your house. That's a goat. That's a goat. Is that a oh. European? Oh, yeah, there's our horse. Oh, that is a horse. I missed the horse. I saw the goat. That's, that's my office. <laughs> your office? You have a miniature, miniature pony yeah. here. I love it. We were doing a, a big board meeting for, for, for Brothers Bond. Yeah. Oh, for the bourbon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A goat for the bourbon. And a horse. And, and, all, and Paul, Paul Wesley, we were on this big call with all the heads of, of Brothers Bond. And all of a sudden, Delilah the goat walks by, and Paul went, is that a goat? I said, yeah, yeah, it's Delilah. She's usually in a diaper. And then, and then Lucky, and, and, then, and then our mini horse walks by, and uh, everyone just stopped, and they went, Can we what leave? is going on in your house? But it's so special, and for my, you know, for our little one to be able to live like that, yeah. it makes for such a full life, and that's how we got to this, yeah. which as long as you're happy. It, <laughs> <laughs> but that's how we got to this, which is that interconnectivity of nature. Yeah. And effectively how we can basically change our planet pretty much starting right now. Yeah. Um, with I don't know if anyone was able to see Kiss the Ground. It's on Netflix right yep. now. Yep. If you have, thank you. If you haven't, super it's easy to really find. Good. Thank you. Really it's good. so cool. Really Woody Harrelson really narrated it for us. So yeah. it's that like great melodic, really yeah. awesome voice. It's important. But now Common Ground, so there's three films total. Kiss the Ground, it's on Netflix right now. Common Ground is in theaters across the country. It'll be in, in New York in January. And then there's a third one called Ground Swell, which is like the international side of it. Hmm. But Common Ground right now, people say, what is this? Why are you always talking about this? What is this regenerative agriculture thing? And why should I care? Mm -hmm. Super easy. Regenerative ag is just the use of planned grazing methods and using living, growing plants, literally agriculture at scale to sequester enormous amounts of carbon dioxide and just stick it back in the ground where it belongs. Now, when you do that- And help with flooding and help with, there's- Everything, so, so when you do that, you revital, you, you feed all those microorganisms in the soil, then all of a sudden you start replenishing fresh water stores. Yeah. Erosion stops, but also what happens is healthier soil, ding, ding, healthier plants healthier people, higher healthier, yields. Healthier soil for the food you're planting. Well. Exactly. Yeah. But then, healthier, uh, bigger yields. So basically, farmers make more money. Happy, healthy people build happy, healthy societies by making happy, healthy choices. What did I say? What? Yeah. So it's true. What did I say? What did I and say? And we can do it. And we can, we can I agree. we're gonna I do was it. so excited to come here. I am so excited. I love these yeah. films. I tell everyone to watch. My friends are sick of me talking about stuff. <laughs> I have every book that's ever been made on regenerative farming and no-tilling. And I because it's so important. It's a main yes. reason why I bought the piece of land I bought was because I wanted to show people how you can have self-sustaining, regenerative, like good for you. We have people working on our ranch that this is a passion for them too. Mm -hmm. If you look at look at the data, we need it's to go back be, and fix it. How do we it? even leave it? It's gonna be it's gonna be food and energy that propel that push the world into the next you know millennia. We can Water. fix and heal our soil right now. See common ground. I guarantee you. Yeah. And I'm so glad this. we don't have to fist bump. We don't have to fist bump. We can engage. Let's do a commercial break, everybody. Ian's documentary is called Common Ground. It's currently playing in theaters across the country. You got to go check it out. And be sure to look for his brother's bourbon online as well, because that's a good time.